internet so today we're going to take a look at this uh, new grinder I got uh, it's made by Hario and the model is called uh, Skirtan or I'm not sure but a lot of people on the internet says this uh, it's actually a misprint on the box it's supposed to be skeleton so here's the picture of the box I mean this is what it looks like it comes in a nice box so let's just go over features of it um, it has a grinder handle which which you can unscrew okay and separate and this is basically how you take this piece off it's uh, like a silicone piece very flexible on uh, the bottom is the same thing flexible piece now uh, to get the coffee out you have to turn and then you have the coffee in this bottom reserve piece uh, there's also what it looks like on the bottom over here you see the two burr grinders okay to clean it you have to take off this nut um, to adjust the grind uh, let me see if we can see it here what you have to do is just take off this uh, ring piece Right. and after that you have this wheel that you turn and the grind is by how many um, turns left from tight it is um, for me I have trouble figuring out uh, how to count how many revolutions around so what I did is I took a sharpie and you see over here I changed the color of one of the clocks uh, cogs to uh, black so of the teeth so after that uh, this one right now is set for three and you would just lock it like this. You basically put the piece back in. You just have to line it up. Okay. And we'll just put it back here. And you could put this back piece here. This is cover the dust handle back and you just screw it back on okay so let's talk about size I have here a Portlux Mini which I have done in another review and as you can tell from comparing an extra it's much more easier to travel with this one versus this since this is stainless steel uh, this is glass could break in your luggage uh, it's also much bigger and it's much heavier too, weight wise. At least I feel it is. It's heftier. The glass is much more heftier. Now, capacity wise, right? I'll show you how much scale here. Uh, you probably can't see the numbers at the angle it's at right now, but I'll read it off to you. Tar it out. Now, I already pre filled. The Porphylex with uh, basically almost to the top level of beans. Okay. And right now it reads 23.4. And these are just, uh, let's see, you can see here, average size beans. They're not really that big, they're not that small. It's actually a little smaller than usual. I think these are uh, what is it, pea berries, so they're a little smaller, but that's how much I could get in there. Now, in here, oh, you can't see it, but I could easily fit that amount there. You can see I have much more room to put more. I could probably do three times the amount. Now, the thing is about this, even though I could do that amount, it's not easy. It's not easy to grind that much because it does take a considerable amount of time. Um, compared to a port legs, I don't like how this feels when you're holding it like this. If you're if you're grinding it not on the surface, it's very uncomfortable. So you have to put it down, and that's probably what this silicone piece is for, so it doesn't 
uh, slip or anything like that. But let me pop some of the grinds out here. You can see how it is. Uh, from what I notice. You can see it. Uh, it's fairly consistent. And what I'm noticing, uh, once you find dial in at the right grind, uh, it's pretty close to the port like some quality. So that's a good thing. All right. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, just leave it on the bottom and just let me know. Thank you.